Hi everyone, so today I have decided to do a Draw My Life video. So it all started on the 30th of December 1993 when I was born. Hooray! Yeah! Woo! So I was born with a lot of hair and my mum said the nurses used to come and look at me and say, wow, she's got lots of hair. So for the first week that I was born, I didn't actually have a name. My parents couldn't decide and then they came up with the most boring name on the planet, Laura Jane Bodice. Yay for me! So my family included my mum, my dad, my older sister Sophie and me and then we had two little cats named Magpie and Claude. So when I was a kid we lived in a really small two bedroom terrace house and it had a really long garden and we had some really cool swings at the bottom that had two swings and a seesaw and I remember sharing a bedroom with my sister and we used to listen to story time tapes at night time and there was a lovely couple who lived down the road who used to babysit us sometimes called Frida and Sid and they had a little bird called Beaky which I was scared of. And unfortunately one day Magpie actually passed away and I remember we had a shed in the back garden that we created a memorial on. I remember making, like painting on those birds. Don't know why I remember that but I just do. So then me and my family decided to up and move into a bigger house and during this time I actually went to a new school because I was going to be going to a different secondary school. Um, so my mum wanted to move me so that we created some friends that would be in the same secondary school as us. So the new school was really daunting, I made a friend called Kirsten and she introduced me to all her friends and yeah, we all hung out together and it was great. So me and Kirsten used to play in the back garden all the time, I remember there being lots of frogs in the back garden, someone in the house opposite us had a pond, I remember going out and climbing trees and one day my friend Natalie actually fell out of the top of a tree, she hurt herself at the time but she's okay now and me and Kirsten also used to build fairy gardens on my front garden in the hope that fairies would come and live there in the night. So I used to be a really active child, I used to play clarinet, I used to run everywhere, I used to do gymnastics and I was just loving life. And I remember playing clarinet to my granddad in his care home. Um, I don't really remember much about my granddad, I just know that he had one arm and I used to play clarinet to him and unfortunately one day he did end up passing away but all I know that he was very sad and that my dad loved him a lot. And other memories of my childhood I have was that at my nan's house we used to sit and draw and make things all the time. She had the best craft room ever. She still has the best craft room ever. And one day I was on her exercise bike messing around like I do and I actually fell off and cracked my head open. It was really sad, there was blood everywhere, but it's okay. Now I've just got a scar above my eyebrow. So unfortunately actually my mum and dad decided to divorce when I was a kid. It's all for the best now and they're both really happy so I don't mind. And we then had to move to a new house with my mum, my sister and me. And I had the smallest bedroom and it could fit a bed and a wardrobe in and I was away from all my friends so I was quite sad. So my mum decided to introduce me to a girl called Beth and we were the same age and she worked with her mum and we became really good friends and she introduced me to dancing which I have been going to dancing now for over 10 years to the same dance school and I love it. So then it was time to start big school and it was really scary at first but I met one of my most bestest friends in the world, Ash, there and we shared some of the greatest and worst memories together and I could not be more proud of her and I love her a lot. So during my time at secondary school we actually moved house again and this time we moved in with my stepdad Carl and he's been a massive help in my life and he's just great. So I also met Kyle in school um, in year 10 so I was about 15 years old and we've been together ever since and I love him more and more each and every day. So I found the last years of school really difficult because of GCSEs, I just really wasn't sure how well I was going to do, but I managed to do really well, I got 11 GCSEs, all A to C grade, and I ended up going to sixth form, where I studied art, ICT, English language and product design. 
So at the time I didn't really know what product design was, all I know is that it looked really fun and little did I know that this would end up shaping my career. So I got my A-level results through, I actually did really well but I just really didn't know what I wanted to do after I'd finished sixth form so I ended up staying on for an extra year just trying to improve my grades and applying for university and I decided that I actually wanted to apply to do product design. And during my final year at sixth form I actually passed my driving test, my stepdad bought me my first ever car which was a bright green Peugeot 106 and I called it pea green and it was my favourite car ever. So in 2013 I got accepted into my first choice university and this was the University of Lincoln to study product design and I was so so happy, I cried and my mum cried and it was all very emotional. So moving to uni was really really daunting, I commuted for the first two years and lived there in the final year with my best friend Eleanor and Rosie and I have made the bestest friends at university that I could ever ask for and the course was so amazing, we were all so close and I miss each and every one of them every single day and I wish I could do it all over again. So 2016 was probably one of the best years of my life. I graduated from university with a first class honours degree and I never in a million years thought I would do so well but it somehow happened and I had an interview for a real job to do with my degree after I'd finished uni as a placement designer for Next Home and I ended up actually getting the job and within four months of the placement I actually ended up getting a promotion and being asked to work there full time and now I just love my life. I am living each day to the full and who knows what my next adventure will be but all I know is that I'm so thankful for everyone around me and everything that's happened in my life. So thanks for watching and subscribe. Bye <laughs> oh, bye.